Hey, I'm in my content creation bag. I'm painting my nails to see if my dad calls me a slur. So, so let's talk about the diaspora war. Yes! My favorite. I was looking online on Twitter, the cesspool of all hate and negativity. You know, just the bottom of Satan's anus that it is. And there were some girlies that was causing drama because a lot of the, the African girlies have been causing dramas with uh, African Americans. So the African Americans have been like fighting back and saying a lot of shit on Twitter. So there was this this uh, UK artist, I believe, African artist, Aria Starr, I believe that's her name. And I've been seeing some clips of her. Like, I, I believe she's on a come up. Like, I've been seeing clips of her and I'm like, oh, she's like already big, right? So there was this interview with Coco Jones. Coco Jones and Aria Starr apparently know each other, right? And Coco Jones like, yeah, she's gonna be big. Oh no. The girlies on Twitter were like, she's gonna be what? She's already big. She's actually bigger than you. You know how? You know how? Spotify. Yeah, she has a hundred and something million monthly listeners. You only have, you know, one million, bitch. Right? She's better than you. The only people who know you are from fucking Disney Channel. Right, bitch? Right? The girlies are mad. Now, I don't think Coco Jones, I really don't think. She looked like she wasn't even trying to throw shade. Like, I feel like you could tell that she was throwing shade, right? She was just kind of like, she's going to be big. And I assume she was talking about in America. Because the gag is, Tim's, Tyler. Okay, let me think of someone else. Tim's. Tyler, I'm talking about someone that solidified themselves, someone that we're like, oh, like we know this is for good, this is the African gal. We know her. We don't know Aria. And that goes to show you that America has a different type of popular popularity than someone who's in Africa, than someone who's in Japan, than someone who's in Korea, than someone who's in India. Like it's a case by case basis. So I don't think when she was saying, Oh, Coco, oh, Aria Star is gonna be big like she's not that girl she was just saying she's going to be more well known in america because nobody knows her in america yes i looked at her shit she has like 300 and something million views on the most of, like she has a lot of views on a lot of her videos she seems very popular i knew there was this artist who's actually very popular who i believe is headlining the the olympics that isn't it happening right now in paris and she's dark-skinned and she's like the Beyonce of Paris, I believe. And I remember looking at her stuff and I'm like, oh, she's very famous. I did not know her. <laughs> I did not know her. I did not know her. And like, no shade. No tea. Right? No shade. I just didn't know her. Why would I? I, I don't live in Paris. I, I, I'm not in that particular thing. I didn't know her. Like, there's very few artists where we're talking about you're like a world-renowned artist right like a Beyonce right like where people know you around the world that's not something that you would see with a lot of different artists but of course people on Twitter they felt some type of way and they were like yeah you Americans you black Americans you black bitches you're going around sitting there acting like you own stuff she's better than you you hoes would sit there and, and you know a good amount of it if you see a blue check on Twitter, you assume like it's rage bait, right? They're trying to start some shit. I think what confuses the fuck out of me is the vitriol that's coming from Africans, right? Because the whole thing is that they're saying, well, the reason we're upset is because you hoes think you own blackness. I think what confuses me about that particular thing, that particular narrative that I'm seeing on from Africans, is I could have swore years ago, y'all didn't even want to be identified as black. I could have swore years ago that the African girlie said we didn't even know we was black until we brought our asses to America. So imagine my shock that the narrative is now somehow being changed and now the African girlies are somehow talking about you don't get to gatekeep blackness. I said, this is odd. Since when did you even identify yourself as a black person? You identified yourself by your ethnicity. You said I was a Nigerian girl. I was a Kenyan girl. I was a Somalian girl. I was a Haitian girly. And we ate that. You you ate that. You know, I'm going to always give, you know, I'm going to always give flowers to the girls that own their shit. But then we're not talking black. We're not talking black. It's the same kind of cultural shock. And I understand that people feel some type of way with America. 
even though so many people do talk about American politics, I've seen so many people on social media alone come from England, come from Australia, come from literally Lord knows where, constantly talking about the shit in America. And I'd be like, girl, they get mad at us talking about Americans are self-absorbed. But I'm like, baby, you barely talk about your own shit in your own country. Talk about the shit in your country. I'm not saying this to everybody because I do be seeing, I be on different sides of YouTube. Like, you know, the internet is vast, it's big. So there's people do, who do talk about that shit. But a lot of times people are always talking about shit in America because again, there is this propaganda that America has been putting out towards everyone else where it's like, even when we're not really doing what we need to do, you should really try to be us. Oh my God, girl, this is so bad. Can you tell I'm gay yet? You, you, should, you should try to come here, right? You should come to this country. This is the land of milk and honey. I don't know what they're doing in your dirty poor uneducated ass country not true I'm not agreeing with it I, i'm not i'm not saying that to agree i'm just keeping it above i'm just saying that that's the optics that's the optics that they created that's the narrative that they created that everyone outside of america is poor and dirty and uneducated and they need us they need america they can't do it on their own right and then you wake up and you're like wait a minute that's not true and they're like well you know it's too late now you're here right i say all that to say that when you're looking at Africans, I've seen so many Africans. Here's one that's gagging me a bit. Here's one that, I, that that always perplexes me. Now, I am an American because I live in the nation, the country of America, the United States of America, the USA. We are not united, so I don't know why we say United States of a fucking America. The only reason that we're united is, is, I guess, because the states are next to each other. And even then, it's like girly, some of the girlies don't fuck with each other like that. So I really don't know why we're saying United States of America, but here we are. We are so nationality wise we are americans now i'm hearing from a lot of the african girlies well you guys don't have a culture okay 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 let, let me hold on let me come down let me hear them out you guys don't have a culture your your culture you you guys are just american hmm i want i want you to hear what i said again you guys don't have a culture you guys are american one more time baby you guys don't have a culture you guys are so <laughs> remember i said the american dream remember i said the uh, there's people who are first generation here in america you know those things those places called chinatown those places where you see people who speak different languages i went to chicago and i walked down the street and there was someone speaking a different language i said that's his that's spanish that's some form of, an, I don't know what type of language that is. I don't know what type of language. There was people from various different types of communities, from various different types of backgrounds who were basically in this one city, this one area, not even, I wouldn't even say it's fully encapsulating the whole city, right? There's so many different types of people who grew up here in America. There's so many different types of cultures. There's even different types of cultures within white communities, right? And if we're really talking about the history of how America came to be, there were Europeans who decided to come to this country because they wanted to collaborate. They wanted to collaborate with the indigenous people. They just wanted to talk. They wanted to the collaborate with the indigenous people. The indigenous people were basically like, they got wiped out because they didn't understand. They were like, girl, you're dirty. You don't bathe. And they had, they were like, what, European? So they were like, what, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm just gonna pick one, fucking Polish, I don't know, shit. And they had their own culture, but they decided to, you know, really stick with racial constructs. So then that's where whiteness came and blackness came. But yes, there was racial constructs everywhere else. They, they had their own thing with colonization and shit like that. It was, it was its own thing. But specifically in America, that was like, that's at the head of what it is, what it is. And so. When you have white people here, some of them, they feel like their only fucking culture is racism, right? Because funny enough, they themselves were disconnected from their culture. But the reason that black folks, a good amount of us are not going to give them sympathy because it's like, well, baby, that must be tough. But just like we had to sit there and create our own culture and we had to sit there and deal with our own shit, you need to sit there and figure out how to deal with your own culture and figure out who the fuck you are. Because, baby, at the end of the fucking day, nobody's about to give you fucking sympathy for not having a culture. You better sit there, take your ass to England and say, I don't care if you hoes don't think I'm British enough. Uh... Uh, here, here, get your tea, do whatever the fuck you need and say, I'm going to be who the fuck I am because I took my ancestry test 
I took my DNA test and turns out this is where I came from. So this is who the fuck I am. And they need to sit there and call it a day instead of sitting there uh, making the whole culture being the fucking Confederate flag or being a fucking Nazi. I said to myself, why even are Americans Nazis? I said, are you even German? Why the fuck are you a Nazi? Why are you a Nazi? Why am I seeing fucking na white nationalists in places? I remember I still saw something on fucking Facebook or YouTube or something where it was like a white nationalist in fucking Korea. I said, girl, why y'all being Nazis? This is so awful. Oh my God. Anyway, back on track. Our ethnicity, right, right now the FBA movement, I think is what they call it or whatever the fuck they're calling it. Now we're saying we're black Americans. I'm like, okay, it changed again. Either way, we say African American, black American. You could choose either one. I don't give a fuck. But that's our ethnicity. Our race is black. Black, black American, African American, American. To sit there and say, no, you're just American and that's it. It's so fucking stupid. Because again, to say that, okay, American culture, okay, when I think... I think when a lot of people say American culture, they're thinking fast food, gas stations, uh, a bunch of food, uh, very loud, very, very loud, loud people, loud people, Christianity, food, food, loud, loud, loud food, fat people, fat people, loud, loud, fat people. That's what they're thinking. They're thinking the equivalent of those fat bitches that was on the ship in Wally. That's what they're thinking. They're thinking that we're just a bunch of overgrown toddlers waddling around, complaining about shit, being spoiled brats. That's what I think a lot of people think Americans are. You kind of ate, but actually shut the fuck up. Because at the end of the fucking day, if we play by that game, right, of the optics, and we justify the issues of how we see African-American culture, you know, and we say, you know what the biggest problem is with African-American culture? The biggest problem with African-American culture is that hip-hop, right? You guys go around, you talk about shooting and killing. We have videos of you going around and you're sitting there uh, uh, shooting people. And you have all these black teens in the cities and they're killing people. And they they, they going into fucking... Uh, 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 um, they're going into different malls and different areas and they're stealing shit and they're killing people and you sitting there. That's what African Americans are. If we really play by that game, if we really play by the game of optics of, oh, this is how you are, this is what you are, then what's to stop me from having that same type of vitriol for Africans? What's to stop me from saying, you guys are dirty, you guys are poor, you guys are weak. You come to this country to get the benefits that we have. You guys are illiterate. You don't have any sense of self. You go around and I, what? let me roll a clip. Let me show clips of people sitting there taking a certain type of chemical and peeling off their fucking melanin. Let me take, let me go and show clips of people sitting there. There's booming businesses of people basically selling fucking skin bleach. Let me go and show clips of people sitting there eating food with their fucking hands and taking a fucking what seems to be the equivalent of a firm mashed potato and taking their hands and not being able to use utensils and acting animalistic when they eat. Let me take clips of you sitting there allowing people to die out on the fucking street. Let me take clips of you sitting there killing each other and uh, mistreating each other and doing a whole bunch of stuff and acting like animals and being bar barbaric. Let me take clips of you sitting there having people, various people within Africa, have nothing, be on the side of the street, be poor, act crazy. Let me take clips and let me cultivate my own sense of generalization. Let me take clips and let me take different things I've seen on social media. And even then, different things that I've been told. And let me sit there and make it, make it seem like Africans are all of those things. But I know that's not the truth. I know that is not the full extent of what it means to be African. I know that is not the full extent of what it means to be a person from Africa. I know that just like every other fucking country, there are good people and there's bad people. There's people with sins and there's people that ain't got no sins. There's people that got this and there's people that don't got that. I'm able to differentiate and I'm able to sit there and hold, try my best at least to give people the benefit of the doubt and not get into this sense of, oh, you all are crazy. Oh, you all are this. Oh, you all are that. Oh, you all are... I, I, I'm able to sit there and do that. But for some reason, that sense of differentiation, that ability to be able to sit there and take the absolutes and be able to put this in that particular compartment, that in that, that particular compartment, to be able to do all of these various different things, suddenly that is lost 
on the African community. Suddenly the African girlies suddenly don't want to talk about that. But for some reason, it is only right to sit there and generalize African Americans because hip hop. When we're not even talking about why there are certain things where we're seeing people sell their bodies. Well, especially black women when there's a whole history of sex selling within the industry. Even if you're independent, it would be very weird for an artist to just randomly change up their shit overnight, suddenly act like a fucking prude what's going to happen with their sales what are the consumers going to do not only in america but outside of america what the fuck is going to happen even in other fucking countries it's the same weird logic when you see jamaicans have a whole part of their culture is twerking they even justified in their head i'm going to take my bum bum and i'm going to gyrate and twerk eh, bam, 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 bam. Eh. I'm going to twerk on a whole different type of person. I don't even know this motherfucker. I don't even know this man. And I'm just going to sit there and twerk. And you better not even have an attitude with it because that's part of the culture. The gag is gyrating, shaking your ass. Half of the time, the African girls would say, I remember when they said twerking was for us. I said, which one is it? So they said, okay, well, twerking came from us. Twerking, gyrating and twerking and yeah, 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 yeah and that came from us. Showing it, showing it in a, but it's a respectable when we do it. You hosts are doing it in a disrespectful way. I said, someone could still sexualize you and disrespect your body, even if it's in your culture. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What do you mean? Uh, it's more respectable when we do it. I said, well, depending on who you're talking to, Depending on who you're around, depending on who is in your company, in your vicinity, I don't really know if everyone around you would think that somehow that's a respectable type of art form. But you know what? Hey, what do I know? <laughs> I said, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Then on top of that, right, the African-American community, right? Sexy Red. I just saw Sexy Red sitting there twerking with a fucking MAGA hat on the fucking uh, stage. I said, Lord, bless her heart. I said, baby... You know, at this point, do whatever the fuck you want. Everybody, none of the candidates are worth my fucking time. Donald Trump's tired. Joe Biden's tired. This is the first time in history. Well, in my history, in my adulthood, you know, this is the first time me being an adult. I'm like, you know what? Neither of the candidates seem like they're worth my fucking time. So I guess I'm just going to sit there and just watch the clouds go by. I don't know. You know, I guess I'll go vote and vote for Joe or vote for... I don't know. I might just sit there and put a fucking dart on the board and just you know, open my eyes and see which one kind of sticks. I don't really know because neither of them are really giving. And anyone who convinces themselves that either candidate actually gives a fuck about them, especially in America, especially if you grew up as an American and you're not somebody who just got here and you want to sit there and be cute and actually participate in the festivities. If you're somebody who actually grew up here and you actually think any of these motherfuckers actually give a fuck about you, you are delusional. <laughs> you are delusional. You are delusional. They don't give a fuck about you. Sorry. You see all of these people happening. You know, people are blaming dark-skinned black women. They're blaming dark skins who twerk on stage. That's, that's what's causing the deterioration of the black community. I said, you guys never talk about any of the accomplishments. Half of the people that uh, won on these award shows were black. Half of the people that are sitting there making moves, they have their own fucking companies, they're doing other shit, they have other movies they're making, they have other different types of things that they're making, trying to change the narrative, they're trying to talk about something different, are black. A lot of them are African American, but you guys don't want to support them! You only want to sit there and dive deeper and deeper into the drama. You only want to dive deeper and deeper into this idea and this narrative that somehow African Americans and their, all of the things that they're doing is somehow so fragile. Our accomplishments and the ability to maintain, maintain an image is so fragile that all it takes is is the industry pumping out this particular type of image and for us to not realize that we are the consumers we have the power and so if you're going to constantly sit there and look into this particular thing you're no better than the people who talk shit about you you're no better than the fucking racist ass conservative that says yep yeah, that's what they'll do you're no better you're just a grifter you're just a, a bitch just monetizing off of the negativity, monetizing off of the mass hysteria, the same shit that I said they're doing with the kids. The kids are losing their way. I said, they did this. Please, y'all, please. Please go online. The shit that we're going through, we go in circles. We're doing the same shit over. The gender war, we did that before. We did that. The culture war, we did that before. It was different, 
but we're literally doing the same shit over and over again. It's kind of silly. You don't have to be a historian to realize that we just go in circles. And we, kind of, we have amnesia. We didn't do that. This is new. I said, no, bitch, we always been crazy. Oh my gosh, the world's so demonic. We always had issues. They used to sit there and gather around. They used to get, gather the fucking village and watch somebody get hanged over something that they didn't do. We've always been kind of silly as a fucking society. When we're talking about ownership as well, the African-American community, when it comes to hip hop, hip hop, but don't stop, but da, but da. I said, you hoes have so much vitriol for hip hop and you say you don't like hip hop even though everybody around the world knows about hip hop. The same way I'm confused how there's a good amount of Koreans who are racist yet somehow a good amount of the foundation of their fucking music is sitting there uh, benefiting financially off of the image of what black people do. Specifically black Americans. I said you're shaking and gyrating and you're, you're spitting a beat. You're spitting a fucking beat. You know, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to use the, the lingo right. That's how, that's how I feel like they think of it. You're spitting the beat. You're, you're working it. And then want to sit there and turn around and be a fucking racist. I said, these bitches are kind of delusional. But that's what happens when you have no sense of uh, sacredness to your culture. When your culture, unfortunately, is something that is like, uh, it's consumable. It is an item, a product. That gets sold to everyone. Everyone feels like they can have it. And when you sit there and you, you stand 10 toes down and you say, hey, that's for us. Bitches get mad, right? I said, now, why am I looking online? And I, I'm going to hope that it's, again, it's, it's rage bait. I'm seeing people say, hip hop came from Jamaica. Why am I looking online and I'm seeing 50 Cent say that a white man, Eminem, is the greatest rapper of all time. Why am I looking online and seeing that a white man that looks like the equivalent of a Dr. Seuss character is getting Mr. Harlow, whatever the fuck his name is, is getting awarded at the BET Awards. That's what we should be talking about. So, okay, okay, hold on. So we're getting told that we have no culture we're getting told that we have no sense of self. We're getting told that we have nothing. Even the very thing that we're defending is seen as something that's so negative in the perception of who we are. And even then, while that's the main reason why we are seen in a negative light, we also don't get to keep that. We also, that's not ours, right? We don't own that. Why do you always talk about music? Why is it that African Americans always talk about music and African Americans always talk about food and African Americans always talk about clothing? Like that's all you guys got. All you guys got is bonnets and do-rags and your sliders and your Balenciaga and your fake uh, Gucci wannabe ass, having ass, smoking ass, black and mild ass niggas. That's all you have. All you have is, you know, the hip hop. All you have is you know all of these different things and i said that's not true i was listening to an artist right there's this icelandic artist who is known for jazz and, and it's so funny because culturally there's a split in between again who gets seen and who doesn't there's different demographics right there's a side that does taylor there's a side that does beyonce there's a side that does both and so there's different demographics for everyone. Not everyone's going to be here. Not everyone's going to be there. And I remember I looked at this artist. I love her. Lafi, Lafi. I don't know. Louve. I think it's her name. Louve. 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 The Louve. And she does jazz. And I remember I said, isn't there a particular artist who won a Grammy? And what's it, what was her name? Samara Joy. And she does jazz, right? She does old school jazz as well, right? And I think they kind of do different interpretations of the jazz, but Samara Joy is more of that Harlem Renaissance, more Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald type, old school type jazz, right? And I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, so we got R&B, neo soul, gospel, we got hip hop, we got, even we have certain types of sections within rock and alternative music, indie music. However, the the consensus is or the the, the narrative is is that we only have hip hop that's all we do right and we we made so many different types of genres of music why do you guys always talk about food soul food right we talk about fried chicken 
We talk about fried fish. Now, mind you, every other group of people on this fucking planet talks about the staples within their culture, talks about the food staples within their culture. Everybody else on earth talks about, okay, you know, Nigerians, fufu, oxtail, you know, jollof rice, or however you say it. I know I'm butchering it. Uh, this particular group is talking about noodles and dumplings. This particular group is talking about this this particular brand of bread. This particular, every, every, quite literally, the biggest aspect of culture, or one of the biggest aspects of cultures is food. So when African Americans say fried chicken, cornbread, collard greens, Red beans and rice. And no, we don't eat that shit every fucking day. Some people do, but like, girl, shut the fuck up. Uh, apple pie. Peach cobbler. All this other shit. Oh, girl, that's unhealthy. Y'all think that y'all have... Um, somebody's always talking shit. Somebody's always saying... Suddenly, hoes are dietitians. Suddenly, hoes are, are health experts. And they want to give the ins and the outs of what it means to be somebody who is... Um, healthy in that field. I said, well, did you not ask about culture? Did you not ask about food that is significant, significant to that particular culture? And that's what's significant to African-American culture. But when you sit there and you talk about this shit, suddenly it's like, no, African-Americans, you don't get to claim that. You don't get to, you don't get to claim that. We don't even get to claim our stereotypes to some bitches. You don't get to sit there and be proud. You don't get to be proud of that girl. Go sit down, girl. You don't get to be proud of that. That's not the same as ours. And I noticed that more and more. I noticed that more and more. It seems like African Americans can't have a sense of uh, 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 ownership of anything that they fucking do. Because everything that we do is seem trivial to people or it seems uh, uh, open to people. We are the equivalent to AI and everyone's just having their pick at what they want. And that's really unfortunate because when we do try to gatekeep some things, we are told that we can't gatekeep. And half of the people, I have to say this even more, half of the people that I noticed that are telling us that we shouldn't gatekeep shit are actually African. They are not African-American. They aren't even African-American and also African. Because funny enough, talking about Coco Jones, she's also African. But she is one of those people where she's African-American and African. She understands African-American culture as well as African culture, which I feel like gives you a benefit because you actually understand both worlds. But if you only know your world and you bring your black ass over here, or are you black or you're not black? I don't know. We'll, we'll see when you guys decide to actually acknowledge your blackness, right? And suddenly... You know, you, you become an African-American technically because people naturally see you as an African-American unless you got a fucking accent. And you go around and I'm, I said, am I tripping? And you go around and you start telling African-Americans what they should and shouldn't gatekeep as if you know what the fuck you're talking about. There's people who are not even fucking African-American who are going around telling Africans, I mean, who are not even, yeah, going around telling African-Americans how they should gatekeep shit for them. I remember I was wearing a fucking bonnet, right? And I remember online, there was white women saying, bonnets aren't just for black women. Can he shut the fuck up? He has water and he has food. Africans, some of the Africans, they just couldn't understand. They couldn't understand why we were so upset. They couldn't understand why we were upset and why we would go. They couldn't understand why we were upset that you are sitting here trying to say bonnets are for everyone. Mind you, you can wear a fucking bonnet. If you're a white woman, you can wear a bonnet. However, there's a tendency within white America where they just like to claim shit that they did not start. You did not start wearing fucking bonnets, bitch. You did not call them bonnets. There was not something culturally significant to your fucking culture. No, you, no the fuck you didn't. Even when you did, you still didn't. You are not going around Tyler wearing fucking do-rags. They have a problem with being able to differentiate. Oh, I'm just sitting here appreciating the culture. Oh, no, this is mine now. It's, it's, it's historical. They did that shit back in the day with the music. We was jiving and we was moving. And next thing you know, the white people jiving and moving. And next thing you know, even when the white performers, I don't like Elvis' ass, his pedophile ass. But he, even he, when he was going out, he said, hey, y'all, I got this from James. 
I got this from Mr. James, right? This this isn't mine. The white people didn't give a fuck. They was like, girl, we don't give a fuck about those those N words. You did this. You are the sole provider of this particular type of style of dance. You're the one who's bringing soul. I said, baby, soul? Soul music stopped with black people. Or did it? Or, or was somebody somewhere in the outskirts of India where they somehow hitting runs and acting like they were Whitney Houston before Whitney Houston? Maybe then, maybe I'm not really, I'm not really sure that we really did um, claim that particular type of thing because African Americans can't claim anything apparently. When we look at culture, we look at, this is what they wear. This is what they eat. This is the music they cultivate. We do it with Indians. We do it with the Koreans and the Japanese. And, and we do it with the Hispanics. And we do it with the African girlies. We do it quite literally with everyone else. But suddenly when African Americans are saying, hey, this is, the, this is, what, this is our culture. Oh no, girl, that's not culture. That's America. Huh? That's not, no, no, that's not culture. That's America. We don't want to hear that. That's not culture. No, 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 no. That's not culture. No, no. That's America. You're American. You're not culture. No, 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 no. I said, bitch, that is culture. You're getting a fucking fade, and they're talking about the black wife effect, and suddenly Tyler looked like he came from, he, he stopped going to Supercuts and went to a fucking... Uh, a, a local barbershop where he decided to get himself a fish plate every time he went because he's, he's gained some pounds ever since. That's black culture. The buzz cut, the fade. Niggas was doing that. Black Americans was doing that. We can't have it though. We, we, we can't have nothing. Weird to me. You will have Africans come to America. And I talked about this before. I find it so, I, I, I'm confused. You will have them come to America. They're not wearing their traditional dress. <laughs> they're not wearing their traditional dress. They're not, even on certain holidays, they're not wearing something that is significant to them, right? Because they can't handle the heat. They can't handle the issues because there are some African-Americans who will talk shit about them. I I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. That's how this works. Resentment on both sides. And of course, the white people will hate them. You know, their prized possession. The white people will feel, probably would be like, girl, I guess, right? Some of them will be like, girl, I guess. And some of them will be like, I don't give a fuck and keep it pushing because not everyone gives a fuck about this. And there will be some people that would kind of be, you know, it's a kind of like a mixed bag. That's what I'm saying. And they will be wearing the hoodies. They will be talking like a nigga down the street. But they will be talking about how much they hate African-Americans. But you sound like an African-American. You sound like a nigga from America. You do not sound African. And I know they don't talk like that in Africa. I know they don't talk like that in Africa. I know they don't talk like that in Africa, bitch. There's an accent. Everyone has a fucking accent. Even I guess I would have a standard Americanized accent. And if I go to somewhere up in the north, because again, this is America with so many different types of people around the fucking world who grew up here. There's a whole history of immigrants who came here years ago. Dumb bitches. Our people would say, oh, you must be from the south. Some people would sit there and catch it. There's only so many yows and child and uh, and, uh, and I'm not even country country. A county over, down the street, a couple of, down there, over here, further down, you would hear country people. If you go to the country, they're going to sound country. You come here, it's a mixed bag. It's more it's more of standard American accents. But even then, if you go to certain places in America, they have very different types of fucking accents. So if you come from a whole different fucking country and, you're, and they have prominent accents and their language is structured in a type of way where you can tell they have an accent when they speak English, why are you going around sitting there having a whole different type of fucking accent sounding like an African-American? And you're going around sitting there shitting on African-Americans while also saying, I'm proud of my African heritage. I'm, saying, I'm like... And then when African Americans indulge, or Black Americans is now the new terminology, when we indulge the same way in this childish banter, 
And we say that the Africans have no sense of self. The Africans are dirty. The Africans are poor. The Africans are running to our, towards our country. The Africans have nothing. The Africans want us to go around and say, save Sudan. The Africans want us to go around and say, let's sit there and raise help for the fucking Congo. But then they want to call us dirty. When we when we go low, when we're, we're, we're biting back, when the girls are fighting, suddenly it's like, oh my gosh, we just knew this would happen. And again, there's such an ins insincerity, a, such a, a lack of genuine, genuine understanding from the African community, because they go around and they feel the need to constantly, you know, play this thing. They, they kind of act like politicians in America, really everywhere. But in America, a lot of, you know, when politicians do a debate, oh, you're being emotional. Oh, girl, you're being emotional. Oh, girl, you're being, girl, you're being emotional, girl. Girl, you're being emotional. Like you're getting in your feelings. I just said you, that you have no culture. Uh, girl, I'm, you're being emotional. I'm just saying that you you're not that. I'm just saying you're not that girl. Girl, you're being emotional. I just spit in your face. Girl, you're being. I just swung on you. Like girl, you're being a little bit too emotional. They don't take it serious, and they poke the bear. And then when African-Americans feel some type of way, when African-Americans are rightfully so saying, bitch, I do have a fucking culture. When we had a history of having to defend ourselves against people who wanted to tear our shit down or say you don't have X, Y, Z, or they wanted to trivialize and say the only thing that's a part of your culture is X, Y, Z, as if white people aren't violent, as if Asian people aren't violent. And I know I'm contradicting my video that I had with Sexy Red saying I shouldn't compare myself to other races. I know that's going to be a big part of this particular conversation. And I'm going to acknowledge that and say, yes, I am contradicting that particular statement of let's not compare yourself to other races when talking about African-American issues. But what I'm trying to say is that so many different people have so many different accounts of violence. There's gangs in other countries that can get away with killing people simply because they run shit. I'm confused how especially the Europeans, the Europeans just love to highlight the violence. And the, the insidious thing about Europeans, right? The white people, right? I'm gonna start calling white, even black, or white Americans Europeans, right? If we really wanna sit there and go there and really wanna sit there and talk about ethnicity, I'm gonna say the, the, the American Europeans. Let's, since we wanna change every fucking thing and we wanna be specific and we wanna make sure we, we check every fucking box, the Americanized Europeans, because that's what the fuck they are technically. The Americanized Europeans also do fucked up shit. Yeah. <laughs> but Alex, their culture is not going around killing people. Their culture, I said their culture doesn't have to be that. That's why you have a stupid ass bitch, Kyle Rittenhouse, that can go and shoot somebody up and be like, it's self-defense. Yeah, you'll see a black person sit there and defend himself. And it's like, can we see the full story? What happened to seeing the full story? Right, 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 right. What happened to having the Kyle Rittenhouse treatment? They are the status quo. They are the foundation of this society. They are the ones that led by force. And so they are the ones that get to be able to live in this luxurious, even though, you know, there's a lot of white Americans that are poor, but so I'm kind of like, okay, be racist or go against the very government that keeps making you poor. Okay, I guess we'll be racist. They go around and they do all of that other shit, right? And then they end up you know, passive aggressive. They're not as confrontational. Their whole culture isn't like African-American culture. They're not confrontational. Even though it, it, it's, it's a cool type of violence when it's the mafia. It's a cool type of violence and a cool type of murder when the mafia are doing it. You know, they got accents, they got pasta and lobster. You know, they're on my roster. They, you know, they got different types of things. But when blacks do it, when blacks do it, ah! when the blacks do it, oh my gosh, of course they would, of course. Those blacks, yeah, those blackies. And I said this in another video, I, don't, I believe. I said that now when it comes to hard work, when it comes to putting forth the effort, when it comes to being someone known for effort, now it'll be like, oh, not only is it African Americans that are hard workers and have most of the degrees, most of the people that have most of the degrees, they're not even African American. They're not, they're just, they're, they're African. Nah, they're African. 
they're Nigerian. They can, yeah, those that's hard workers are people with Afri from African descent who have a connection to that lineage. Anybody else who doesn't have a full connection or they're disconnected, they have nothing. Yeah. Good amount of them are probably like poor. Yeah, and uneducated. And those hoes from the hood, those hood rats, right? Those hoodies. They don't want their kids to have a good education. Mm -mm -mm. They don't care for that, those hood rats. You can read? No. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that people from a certain community could read. Wow. That's how y'all act. That's how I assume y'all, y'all, yeah, that's, that's the shit that I assume some of you motherfuckers actually think when it comes to African Americans. I say, baby, anybody could be a bitch. Anybody could be evil. So to sit there and paint the whole entire community as such and say that we all have to be on our P's and Q's every five fucking seconds. We all have to be on one accord. We all have to, great gowns, beautiful gowns. We all have to come in uniform. One minute, we're not all a monolith. The next minute, we all have to hurry up and, and, and put some shit together and put on a fucking production 24 fucking seven. So someone could please see us beyond our violence. Someone could please see us beyond this particular type of idea of who we are. We constantly on and 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 on. We constantly have to do this whole fucking performance acting like we're animals being abused in the fucking circus. We have to constantly do this so you can actually sit there and see us right. And it puts Africans and other people in other countries on a certain pedestal to where we need their validation. We need them to sit there and solidify this particular belief that we are worthy. Absolutely not. You're going around telling black African Americans what the fuck they need to do and how they need, how they need to move and how they need to uh, act and how they need to carry themselves because they're not doing enough. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this this how dare African Americans do this? How dare they bring shame upon the village ass narrative? I'm so sick and tired tired of y'all y'all are so tired aren't you tired same shit that happened with daniel caesar he wasn't popular for a while and he was african technically and he said i don't need you black bitches anyway and then his career kind of kind of slowed down he kind of fell off because it's like you have to understand there's a reason why they and during the politics the during the elections they're always pandering towards african americans there is voting power. There is power. And what we say and what we do and what we endorse. So you bring your black ass over here and you shit on the very people that helped make this country what the fuck it is. That the only reason your black ass is even able to come over here is because of what my ancestors did. But I guess back then they were African. They weren't African American. So I guess surely you're to take the credit. Silly, silly rabbit. Leave the kids alone too. Tricks ain't for kids. Leave them, leave them fucking kids alone. How do we even get here? How do, how do we, how do, how do we even get to this particular position? I don't really like African Americans because African Americans are rude and da, 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 And African Americans think they own everything. We don't think we own everything. We're not trying to take your culture. We're trying to. The funny thing enough, we're trying to have people respect our culture. We're not trying to take your shit. I'm not over here trying to take your shit. Maybe there's some alternative blacks. Maybe there's some, some some new age blacks. I don't know who want to sit there and take certain shit from certain groups of people. You know, they want the Chinese hairstyles or whatever the fuck. But for the most part, African-Americans are perfectly fine with their own shit. But it's people who say, oh, no, you can't be fine. No, that, that's not for you. The same shit that happened with Tyler. Right? Oh, she's a colored woman. Y'all should call her colored. Black Americans, black Americans. Now, if you know that black Americans don't know everything about your fucking country, why the fuck would we sit there and call that woman colored? And, and if you're someone who knows the history, the American history, and you're someone who's so um, knowing of the, so in depth of our particular culture and the way that we carry ourselves, why in your right mind would you assume that I would call that woman a colored? Wouldn't it be more insulting if they called us colored as an insult for me to call her colored? And we're thinking from the perspective of people who actually live in our fucking country. Well, not everything's about America. No, no, no. Well, why would we call her colored? 
And how the fuck would we know about colored people in Africa? Because again, the way I think about it, I don't even think of white people from Africa as Africans. I said, baby, you're a colonizer. Now the Africans may sit there and think so, which, you know, okay. I don't think so. Yes, you could be part of the culture, sure, but I don't think you're African, baby. Not really. I think African, I'm a, you have to be melanated. Light skin, dark skin, I don't give a fuck. But you have to have some sense of melanin for me to actually think you're African. If not that, I'm not going to think you're an African girl. Point blank, period. I'm not going to think you're an African girl. But I just wanted to sit down and talk about it. I, I, I just wanted to rant. <laughs> I wanted to rant. You know what I mean. I wanted to rant about it a bit. I wanted to get into, you know, the, the, the I wanted to get into the, the nitty gritty of it, you know. I wanted to get into the nitty gritty. And I just wanted to rant about it because I've noticed it and it's kind of silly to me. 